Hi guys, it's Juliet Picard and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be reviewing my Chanel Small Classic Flap Wallet, so let's get into it. Okay guys, so I've had this wallet for about a month now and it is my everyday go-to wallet. And I figured given I was having such a hard time figuring out if I should buy this wallet or another wallet, like I was looking at the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet and a few others and then settled on this one, I wanted to give you guys an update as to whether I still am happy with my decision. So, um, before I get to my answer, I just kind of want to give you guys a close-up of this wallet and just how I've been using it on a day-to-day -day basis. This is in the caviar leather um, and obviously the gold hardware. You can see here, it is still in amazing condition, though I do use it every day. And um, I will say, I do take care of this wallet, but I do not baby it. So it is in pristine condition. I honestly see no wear and tear on the leather, nor the hardware. Also, I know that sometimes people have weird glazing issues, but I have none on this wallet, which I would not expect glazing issues on a wallet after one month. So I'm very pleased that, you know, this does not have any glazing issues, though I do not think that is exceeding expectations. I would say that's just meeting expectations. And again, on the back, no actual, you know, any tarnishing, no, you know, creasing or anything weird going on. Everything looks just to be in perfect condition since the day I bought it. So in terms of durability so far, I would say for the exterior, it's been amazing. Very, very happy with it. In terms of how I use it, I do not really use this back zip um, for coins. It doesn't open up that much, which I know some people had an issue with. But given I do not carry that many coins around as is, I'm kind of okay with this. If you do carry a lot of coins, maybe this isn't the best wallet for you. I will put that out there. But for me, it definitely um, fits my use. And I do love how it has this little leather here on the zipper as well. Sometimes people comment on the Louis Vuitton zippers being super seamless. I would also say that this one is just as seamless as the Louis Vuitton wallets that I've seen. So A plus on the zipper as well. So it opens up like this. I'm just gonna snap in. Super easy to open and close. Then you open it and here you have the Chanel logo. So this is it with the different cards. You can see here, these are my actual credit cards in here except for one that's a gift card and I'll demonstrate one taking it out and putting it back in. I always, always put in only one card in, into each of these slots as recommended by other um, YouTubers and I'm so glad I did that because I don't want this leather to stretch out too much if I was to put too many in so I will also give that same recommendation. On top of that, um, I know that others have said that it is difficult to get these cards out. I agree. Um, it does take some time to get these cards out, but I won't say it's something that I struggle with or I would say is a con. I think it just takes, um, you know, it just means that I have to actually take the time to take it out. And I'll demonstrate it with this gift card, but I wouldn't say that's a con, honestly, um, for me. But maybe for you, if you're someone that's continuously in a rush, um, maybe that's an issue for you. Also, I've seen other reviews where people have said that there's strings coming out of the back um, inside here. I've not seen any strings at all coming at, out of it, so I don't know if maybe they just had a defect, but this one does not have any issue like that. So I'm gonna demonstrate taking this card out here. So typically I just like go from the side here. Sorry, I got new nails on. So if I put my finger in here, I just want to say that I do feel a synthetic fiber that makes it a little bit smoother to slide in and out of it. Um, so I'm just going to put it back in, which is a lot easier, I think, than, than pulling it out. So that's it going in. Typically, I just go from the side here to take it out. So not too crazy difficult. I mean, I do... I do take care with taking it out, I think, also because I don't want to scratch the leather with my nails, but um, that's probably the biggest concern I have, um, and I have yet to scratch this at all, but this is um, not too difficult to put in, nor is it too difficult to pull out. Also, I don't know if you noticed this, you guys, but I have cards in here, and I'm going to show you them, but like I'm holding this wallet upside down, and it's not coming out, which I love, so I'm going to flip this the right side. Uh, so you just saw me taking it in and out. So if you see here, there's a credit card there. You can put more cards here if you have more cards than, you know, one for each slot, which I do. And that was a big concern when I was first getting this wallet. It was like, oh, wow, I definitely have more than six cards I need to carry around. And these slots are the perfect place to put them. So highly recommend them. I probably won't put more than, like, 
two to three per you know each flap here uh, but I think it could handle more it's just I wouldn't want to stretch it out too much that if I only had one in here that it would start to you know fall out and then here you have the actual place for your cash and then I put receipts back here as you can see so here I have um, a good amount of cash and I don't really carry cash out but I went on a trip recently uh, to Vegas actually and that's why I have a lot of cash in there I will say that when I did put a lot more cash in here when we first took out and it was a you know sizable stack it did make it difficult to actually close this so I will also say if you are someone who carries a lot of lot of cash and your credit cards aren't your primary form of payment I would probably say to not go ahead and buy this wallet because it will definitely be difficult to close and will probably be um, deformed after a while of putting too much cash in here so I'm not really a huge cash user which is why this is perfect for me and it's super easy again I'll show you from this angle to take out and then putting it back inside so that's that there's no scratches on this leather whatsoever which I'm honestly amazed by that was another big concern of mine is that I honestly like thought this would get really scratched up easily and it truly hasn't so I'm really really happy about that my final review and decision on this wallet is that if you are not a huge cash person nor are you a huge change person, I would 100% recommend that you buy this wallet. I'm just so, so glad that I went with my gut when I saw this wallet and still bought it regardless because it's just something that, you know, when I felt it, it just felt so luxurious to me. And that's just what I really want my wallet to make me feel is that like I love it and it brings me so much joy. And it just reminds me of my classic flap wallet and it's the perfect pairing. And also given I do wear my Chloe bag day to day, that's probably not as, you know, a high end bag. I still feel like I have a high end, you know, little luxury item with me on a day to day basis, which again brings me so much joy. So I love this wallet so, so much. And if you're thinking about it, I'll say just go ahead and do it. It's for sure worth it. Okay, guys, so that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed watching my review of this wallet, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more luxury videos every Sunday. And I may or may not have already bought another item that I mentioned in some of my previous videos. So definitely let me know in the comments below what you think that item is. And if you got it right, I'll let you know. All right, guys, I hope to see you next time. Bye.